So, Julie, another point that came up that I have uh, certainly witnessed, although I'm on the other side of the fence, we're not going to talk politics. Um, <laughs> so you are a woman in a male-dominated industry. I would say engineering, based on my classes and my current job, is a pretty male-dominated industry. I'll give you the floor. I don't even know what to ask. <laughs> well, uh, that's definitely the case. Uh, architecture is still a male-dominated industry. It's getting better. Um, I'd say that when I was in school, it was probably 60, 40 men in the school. Um, but out in the workforce, it's definitely still higher, um, probably 75% men in my experience at the moment. Um, I've been very fortunate and worked for a lot of women, and I've had a lot of women coworkers, which has been amazing. Um, but it, it is something to definitely navigate. For example, the project I'm on right now, and again, I work in a 100-person office. Um, so I'm on this project. It's me and one other person, and then I'm supervised by somebody else. We also have a bunch of consultants on this job, whether it be the pool consultants or the structural engineers or the landscape architect and the interior designer. We have tons of people on the project. Um, so when every two weeks, we get on a big group call. And I'd say there's usually about 30 people on the call, 20 to 30 people. And of everyone on the call, it's myself and two other women out of 30. Two so, out of 30 for those keeping track at home. That's three <laughs> out of 30. Three out of which 30. Which is 10%. Yes. So that's a staggering number when you think of yeah. it like that. Um, and I, I will say, in my experience, I don't in my workplace, I don't feel that. I don't feel that so much. I, I feel very um, listened to and welcomed by the people that I work directly with. Um, but in the past, I've definitely, and I don't know, it's it's tough too, because I'm a young person. You know, I'm, I'm only, I'm about to be 27. I'm, I'm not very seasoned yet. Um, but I've been told many a time that I I look younger even than I am, so that definitely doesn't help. Um, and so nice. it's tough, too, to, d to determine, or am I not being taken seriously in this moment because I'm a woman or because I'm young or both? Hmm. It's probably a little bit of both. Um, and so what's interesting, and at least I've seen this in the pandemic specifically, is I've been at home for the last 18 months. I haven't met anybody and my office doesn't, we don't turn the cameras on uh, when we do meetings because we're just looking at drawings. Yeah. Um, and so I've definitely sort of, I've noticed a benefit in this, in the fact that no one has seen me and that they don't know how young I am and they don't know what I look like. Um, and I, I, here, I'll give you a perfect example. My last office, I was a point, I was the point person between the contractor and my office for a, decent sized project, maybe 15,000 square feet. And I had had a lot of back and forth with the contractor, no problems whatsoever. Very easy, like very responsive, respectful, whatever. No problems for maybe two months. Finally, I had to go onto the job site. I had to actually go physically and take mm -hmm. a look at something. And I met the guy. I'd, I'd been talking to him for two months. I met the guy in person and instantly the emails were not as responsive. I wasn't getting as much, I, he wasn't taking me seriously. He always would call me the girl architect on site, um, nice. that kind of thing. Um, so it's nothing too aggressive. Like I have personally, I, I know plenty of people who have, but personally I have not been like, you know, gawked at or told to that I can't be in the meeting or, or anything mm. really bad like that. But I think blatant, yeah. There, there definitely is a little bit of, you know, you still got to wiggle your way in there a little bit. You, you got to put your foot forward. And I had this great, uh, one of the women that I was saying that sort of mentor me, she always was like, you know, you have the right attitude for this because you won't take any crap, you know? Um, <laughs> there's a Vernie. You know this of me. Like if, <laughs> if something's going on, I'm going to, I'm going to weasel my way into it. And whether it's being like, Hey, I want to be in this or not. Um, but that's, it's definitely something to, that is part of my job that I have to navigate with the clients, that I have to navigate with the people I work with. Um, it's, it's not invisible. It, I don't yeah. feel like it's just not there. Um, 
Yep. And like I said, I, I'm not getting anything crazy. Like I, I wouldn't keep working somewhere that I felt was being unfair or sexist or whatever. Um, but it's tough because like I said, that there's this big, there's this big generation gap between the people who supervise and the people coming into the office. And so that is also a little bit at play of, you know, okay, I've got this 65 year old guy who's my boss and he's like, Oh my God, you're younger than my kids, you know? And so it's, it's an age thing. It's yeah. a gender thing. And it's just something that has to get navigated every day. Yeah, no, it's, uh, obviously it's a double whammy for you and I'm on the younger side of things in my industry and in my company too. And you know, I'm, I'm trying to sell to people who you're trying to find things in common with them, whether you're in sales, you're in architecture or anything, you know, you want to make a good relationship with someone, you should find some things in common, have some things to talk about and, you know, not going to, uh, Oh, the wife and the kids and I did this this weekend. I don't usually uh, share what I've been up to over the weekend <laughs> in case it's, um, you know, not unexpected. We'll leave it at that. Um, but yeah, wanted to ask about that. So another little subtopic. So an engineering, mechanical, aerospace, nuclear, very male dominated. I think that's still the case. It was when I was in school. I would uh, then there's, so. you know, chemicals, maybe in the middle, uh, biomedical, maybe attracts more, um, females as well. Environmental, just, you know, uh, things, things are probably changing for the better and, you know, coming closer to the middle now, but are there any like concentrations in architecture that you feel like one, it, maybe a part of your office is like more girl centric or is it just kind of across the board? Um, it's usually across the, the board. I haven't yeah. really seen, I mean, I haven't worked in commercial real estate very much or, you know, commercial buildings, whatever I do residential for the most part, but, mm -hmm. um, I'd say it's pretty straightforward. It's, it's office specific. I feel like sometimes like my last office was more women than men. Mm -hmm. Um, and that was pretty cool because honestly, I felt, felt like we got a lot more done there, <laughs> um, <laughs> but you know, I, and my dad is always, he, he doesn't really believe in this. And I'm like, you're wrong that, um, you know, whether we like it or not, women always feel the need to, that they're going to have to prove themselves, whether it's explicitly said or not. I think that's just kind of the way it, oh, it, it is at the moment and it shouldn't have to be, but you mean in business just in general, in general, like I think that women, a lot of the time go above and beyond, um, what they're paid to do or expected to do because because of that, because there's a, an expectation of, okay, well, I need to get ahead and I have to work a little bit harder to do it because I'm the minority in this situation. And I think across the board, like not just architecture, but all the fields are definitely getting better about that. Um, because people are aware of it now, you know, for the longest time, it was just like nonsense and people just weren't listening. Um, but you know, it, it's just not the way anymore. So people are starting to get it together, I think. Yeah. I mean, there's, there's some, it is what it is. And you know, you, people just have to deal with whatever's on their plate, but I, I, I do feel like it's better to talk about it and notice it. And, um, you know, personally, I'd like for my organization and my whole industry to be a little bit more open to different backgrounds and viewpoints and, you know, just, just on everything. I think that diversity of thought would be beneficial in any project you know if you have a bunch of, of engineers on one project you could probably use an architect or of a design oriented you know creative mind uh, i think that could be said for a lot of projects so anyway thanks for being open about that sounds like you uh you're very interested in getting that off your chest well i just think that it's not talked about all that much and i, I think that if you're you know i think it's great that you're doing this podcast and it's going to reach out to all these people but i know myself as a high school student that mm. was something I was definitely concerned about that like, oh. okay, I'm going into this male dominated field. What is that going to look like for me? Am I going to have a harder time making a career here because of the fact that I'm female, you know? And so I think that hmm. <laughs> it was definitely an important topic to bring up. You knew up. that going in. Oh yes, of course. One of, that was one of the things, main things I asked the woman who mentored me when I was in high school, who then I ended up working mm. for that part of the reason I w was so drawn to her was she was this very successful female architect, um, with her own practice and everything. And so, you know, having her at, when I worked there, it was just her and one other woman and me. And so that was cool. That was really cool to like work somewhere where I felt 
not equaled, but like there were no men. So it was kind of like, all right, I, I don't have to worry that I'm being slighted because of that. I work for a woman who only, I only have women on the team. It's kind of great. Um, but that was totally something that I thought about and thought about even when I was in college, that was like, okay, you know, what is this going to look like for me going forward? What am I going to have to do differently than my male counterpart to get the same job? Yeah. Hopefully nothing, but potentially something, you know? Yeah. Well, right. It's, it's in your mind when you're looking around your classes and you're looking around your internship and you're seeing people different than you. Yes. Cool. <laughs> well, thanks, Julie. Anything else? No. <laughs>